To apply toe grips, you need something to break the coefficient of friction and slide them on. We recommend isopropyl or rubbing alcohol that you would have at the veterinary clinic or in your medicine chest. Just take some, put it in a container, and immerse 16 toe grips, one for each of the weight-bearing nails. We do not use toe grips on dew claws. Then take a toe grip out wet, stabilize the toe. You want to support that so you're not twisting the toe in application. And press, simply press the toe grip on the tip of the nail. From there, you're going to use fingertips and finger, fingernails and just work the toe grip up into place. It's very important that the bottom create the grip zone where it's gonna contact the ground and provide traction. If the toe grip is too high up on the nail shaft, it's just gonna be a decoration. So it has to be resting right on the back tip of the nail. And the top, we just slide on high enough that it's going to keep the toe grip from popping right off. The main thing, both in application and in advising an owner, is that the toe grip does not contact the nail bed, which is the skin where the toenail grows from, as that could cause a sore, that sensitive tissue there. So getting it in place and then monitoring it at home are two key steps. Again, I'm stabilizing the toe, I'm pressing the toe grip onto the tip of the nail, the wet toe grip, and then I'm using fingernails to just maneuver it up into place. In the bottom, it's creating the grip zone where it's gonna contact the ground at the same time or slightly before the nail when the dog is gating. And then on the top, it's just holding it on. Again, stabilize, press, slide up into place. Stabilize the toe. Press on the tip and slide the toe grip up into place. Again on the bottom, I've created the grip zone. The toe grip is resting right at that back caudodistal edge of the nail tip. And on the top, it's just up high enough to hold it in place.